First up in this week's news roundup, Nokia has announced its latest gadget, in the form of the Nokia N1 tablet, and it packs in a brand new launcher on top of Android 5.0 Lollipop. Unlike Nokia's previous efforts, the N1 will be able to run regular Android apps, and Nokia's Z Launcher interface promises to let you launch them with ease. The slate itself measures in at under 7mm thick, and it boasts a 7.9 inch screen with an impressive 2048 by 1536 resolution screen. It weighs up at just 318 grams, and it looks every bit as portable as Apple's iPad mini. It even has a similar aluminium unibody design, complete with speaker grills and a reversible USB connector, just like Apple's lightning cable. Inside you'll find a 2.4 GHz 64-bit Intel Atom quad-core processor, while it also features 2GB of RAM and 32GB of onboard storage. Throw in an 8MP snapper on the rear and a 5MP front-facing camera and there's a lot to like about the N1. And sticking with tablets and in a way Nokia, a Finnish startup made up of ex-Nokians is turning its attention to making a tablet. The Jola tablet looks to be another iPad mini rival, only its Sailfish OS puts a firm focus on multitasking. Joll has been busy tweaking its own operating system ever since Sailfish OS launch, with the original Joll smartphone adding a hefty 350 new features and squashing over 10,000 bugs. The company has taken to Indiegogo to help fund the tablet, and has raised over a million dollars in just 48 hours. It sports a 7.9 inch display, along with the same retina worthy 2048 by 1536 resolution plus a quad-core Intel processor, 2GB of RAM and 32GB of onboard storage. But you won't find an aluminium unibody chassis here, but it does have a minimalist design with curved edges and Jolla's signature mark on the side. Jolla's championing the multitasking capability of Sailfish OS, letting you control apps right from the multitasking view, such as flicking through music or pausing a video stream, and it looks rapid enough to jump from app to app. Crucially, it also has the capability of running Android apps too, meaning you don't have to give up those key apps you're already used to. And finally, the second generation Moto G is easily one of the best bang for buck phones you can currently grab, but it looks like it's going to have some serious competition on the way. The Huawei We Honor 3C is the latest addition to Huawei's new line of Honor phones, and it looks to pack in plenty of Moto G rivaling specs in a low cost 5 inch shell. Huawei's Honor brand burst onto the scene late last month with the high-powered Honor 6 and is now received a little brother in the form of the Honor 3C, which is set to ship next Monday for just $109.99, completely SIM-free. For that price, the Honor 3C boasts a 5-inch 720p display, a quad-core 1.3GHz processor and 1GB of RAM, giving it enough gusto to cope with everyday tasks. There's also 8GB of onboard storage which you can boost up to 32GB with a micro SD card and it also packs in an 8MP rear camera with Huawei's own eMotion UI 2.0 which is already looking outdated with the recent launch of Lollipop and Motorola's latest phones are already getting the new update. Still it's an attractive phone with slim bezels and for a penny under £110 you get plenty of bang for your buck and it could prove to be a worthy alternative to the Moto G.